Welcome back to another video. It may not be the most gorgeous day out here at Staten Island Airfield, but hey, I'm not gonna complain because the weather is not terrible. It is warm. <laughs> it's not windy, it's not freezing. My hands aren't turning red already. So we're out here today to do another little review, this time of a slightly, I guess, technically it's a micro. It's the Flywoo. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna apologize right now. This name is impossible. I'm gonna put it on screen because I'm gonna mess it up. But it is the Flywoo Nano Baby 22S, I think is its full name. Either way, I wanted to talk about this guy because I wanted to find a couple of more, a couple more, <laughs> a couple more uh, outdoor type tiny whoop quads that I could go out to a playground with, go out to an abandoned parking lot, and just have a quick little session, quick little rip using like one or two S batteries and not really have to worry about the quad too much. Cause around here in New York City, there's not a ton of places for us to fly because there's regulations, helicopter traffic and people. Here at Staten Island Airfield, I've been blessed with being close to a great place to fly drones. So I can get out and fly my bigger drones when I can get out to the airfield, but I wanted something I could have a little bit more fun with kind of wherever I was. And in looking for that, Nick Burns suggested a 2S build. And so I was looking at like the rocket race frame, putting something together, currently in the process of doing that, but parts are extremely hard to come by right now. So in the interim, I went out, got myself a Flywoo uh, Nano Baby 20 2S build just to give it a whirl. And Lo and behold, it has become probably my favorite quad to fly. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about that quad. I'm gonna do a little narrated rip as well as uh, talk about my overall thoughts and conclusions after flying this 2S uh, little micro whoop. So let's get up in the air. I'll tell you my pros, tell you my cons, tell you what my overall thoughts about the drone are. So without further ado, let's get our goggles on and get flying. Quads plugged in, goggles are on. Let's talk about the pros, the cons, and the overall thoughts of the Flywoo Nano Baby. Without further ado, let's get into it. There we go. Take off. Okay. So during the winter, I really, really like uh, this guy for its abilities to kind of do everything. It's really, really light, but it still handles wind very, very well. Uh, it's nimble, it's quick, it's fast, and it's durable. So if I wanna go do some freestyle in the park, I can just charge up some 2S batteries and I can go out and rip. And this provides the same feel. So if you go here and I do like a little punch and roll and like juicy flick kind of, it's very similar in its handling and its overall feel to a five inch drone, uh, which is awesome. Uh, I really like its overall feel. And on top of that, it's still very quick for its size. It's very lightweight, very nimble. Overall, it has a great flying feel. Second, it's pretty much ready to go out of the box. I don't know if this is different with the HD Zero, DJI, or uh, Avatar slash Walk Snail system, but the analog version comes out of the box, ready to fly, has a very good tune, little touch of the ground there. And overall, I think it is a great flying and feeling quad right out of the box. Uh, second thing that I really, really like about the Flywoo Nano Baby is it's quiet. Uh, you can't really hear it right now. I'll do kind of like a little gentle cruise by the back of this camera. Actually, I'll just cruise right over the camera. It's pretty quiet. So here in New York, when I have to kind of be a little stealthy when I fly in like playgrounds and parking lots and all the rest of that, this doesn't disturb a lot of people. It doesn't uh, cause any real issues. So it really allows me to get in, have some fun flying and get out without getting harassed or uh, dealing with other people that are upset because I'm flying a drone. Uh, and that's the thing I really like about this size in this category. It flies like a big drone, but it behaves like a whoop, except it handles wind a little better than a whoop. Next pro is the overall build quality. Uh, this drone feels great. It has a good overall build quality, good components. The 1002 motors are great. The prop choice, uh, pretty much bang on for this size. 
uh, great, gives great overall power and feel. Um, and the put them putting it together, solder joints are good, everything overall, big, big thumbs up. And especially at this price point, which is about 150 or so around Black Friday, uh, and then a little bit more if you're buying this. Uh, normally it's closer to 160 for the analog version. Uh, there is a premium for the other versions. I think they're about like $15 more for the HD Zero, 15 more than that for the Avatar, and around the same for the DJI. But overall, reasonably priced, especially for how good this thing flies. And that's the one thing I can say is, out of the gate, it scoots. It really, really scoots. Uh, and on top of that, it's also pretty good on battery life. That's a little uh, 450 from Tattoo. And we're, what, five minutes into this flight and it's still going strong. I am starting to get a low battery warning. Overall, this thing behaves, flies very efficiently, but still is fun and fast and nimble and aggressive. And that's what I think I like most about this drone in particular. Now let's talk about some of the cons. Uh, first and foremost is the camera. Uh, I actually contacted Flywoo because the camera was so bad. Uh, it wasn't focused on top. It had a little like U-shaped thing in the middle. Uh, Flywoo did offer to repair it for me, but I ended up just choosing to swap in one of my ant light cameras because uh, I really just wanted to fly this thing. I didn't want to have to send it back or deal with any of that. Uh, so I just swapped it out for a CADX ant light camera and now I cannot complain. Uh, I haven't changed anything else about this drone and I think it is actually pretty amazing. Uh, I have yet to put an Insta360 Go on top of it. I do have the mount. I'm curious what it'll end up doing. At some point, I'll put out a little flight where I do a cruisy like Cinewoopy flight with this drone with the uh, Cadex, uh, sorry, not Cadex, the Insta360 Go on top. But yeah, so far, this has basically been my favorite drone of the year. And as far as any other complaints I have, honestly, I can't really think of any. Uh, I haven't broken the frame yet. I am a little concerned because the frame is very thin. Uh, so I'm a little concerned that eventually I will have to replace the frame. I may just swap it to a TKS rocket race when that happens. But if you're looking for a little ripper, I do not know that you can do better than this. Uh, the only downside I think is the camera, but the Goku flight controller. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, sorry to go back and add another pro. Uh, the ELRS edition, if you do choose that and you do have ELRS, this is not a SPI based ELRS receiver. This is a full on UART attached, uh, built into the flight controller still, ELRS uh, receiver. And I think that is awesome because you can upgrade it to 3.0 or whatever version of ELRS you're using and you don't have to worry about upgrading Betaflight because that's an issue I'm running into right now with the ELRS is I can't update my whoops or my radio because I don't want to run a nightly build for my whoops uh, on uh, 3.0. So I'm keeping my Zorro and all of these quads on 2.5.1. Uh, but that is not an issue if you don't have any whoops that are not on, I think it's like 4.4 uh, beta flight. This is, uh, this won't affect that. So if you're running 3.0, you can update this to 3.0 ELRS and you're good to go. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a great flying quad if you want something to have fun this winter, out at the playground, in your house. I mean, it does come with ducts uh, or prop guards. I don't know that I'd fly this indoors because it is so quick, but as a little playground ripper or just something fun to have around or tuck into your bag, I think this is a great option for a little winter whoop. So it's coming for a landing because it says land now. And that's the Flywoo Nano Baby. It is a great little quad, flies great, controls well. The tune out of the box is great. Even, uh, sorry, let me correct that. Especially on analog. It does come in an HD Zero, an analog, a walk snail and an original, oh, HD Zero is the other one. Uh, so it comes in all different flavors of video system with the exception of the O3 Air unit, but I think that camera alone is way too heavy for it. Um, the tune for the analog is great. I watched Joshua Bardwell's review where he took and flew all, th all four of the different variants of the quad, and he pretty much came to the conclusion of the more weight it has, the less 
uh, the, the worse it flies. And none of them fly bad. Uh, the DJI one is great for cruising. The Walksnail one is right on that tipping point of having the weight becoming a little uh, weight becoming a little too much for the quad. Uh, the HD Zero one flies very similar to the analog, but it is a little chunkier and being a like 30 and change gram quad, a few grams makes a big difference. And then obviously the analog quad, which is the one that I flew, is a straight ripper. Whether you're doing freestyle, cru sorry, whether you're doing freestyle, cruising, or just going out and having some fun in a parking lot, that Flywoo Nano Baby is a monster. And if you want an extra drone or you want to get a good Christmas present for somebody this year, I would highly recommend checking out the Flywoo Nano Baby. Yeah, I got nothing more than a glowing recommendation for it. The only two downsides really uh, that I personally experienced are the camera is not perfect and the frame is not completely durable. Uh, it's very, very good, but it is not the most durable frame. Uh, so, but you can get spare frames, so it's not a huge deal. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all I've got for that one. Have you flown? Let me know down in the comments, the Flywoo Nano Baby. Did you enjoy it? Which version did you get? Which version do you like? Uh, let me know, I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, subscribe to this channel so you know when new videos are dropped. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video or even if you didn't like the video. It helps me grow this channel, do more things, all the rest of that. Uh, as always, I have Amazon affiliate links down below for the stuff I use to make this video, the stuff that I fly, and the Nano Baby itself. Uh, I would probably say don't buy the Flywoo Nano Baby from Amazon. It's a little too expensive there. Uh, just go direct to Flywoo or one of the other FPV-centric shops like Get FPV, uh, Race Day Quads, any of the above. And with that said, thank you all for joining in this. <laughs> with that said, thank you all for joining me in this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.